could be a parody of a, of a news story in this cancel culture in which we live, but it's not. Grace Church School in New York City is warning that the terms mom, dad, and parents could be inappropriate, making some children uncomfortable because there are situations where children may not necessarily have a traditional mom or a dad, but they are being cared for by a grandparent or another family member, so that person technically is a guardian. But come on, Well, I, Jenny. I do remember, okay, I do remember back in the day when, when this this discussion came about to start saying parent or guardian and that really does make sense because there are for that exact thing you just brought up but to say that we can't use the word mom or dad is that a little is that a little bit much how about you how about you could use whatever the appropriate term is for the person you're referencing right well i know in in my own life growing up there were many situations where um we had a neighbor um whose grandchild lost his mom at a young age and the grandmother raised him and he called her mom and we always knew the grandmother as as his mom um, so families work these things out and I don't know of any families that necessarily when they're um, in a situation where there's a step mom or where they don't come to terms with what that is right I don't know Yolanda what do you think I mean we're treading here on some interesting territory because what do we do away with Mother's Day and Father's Day and call them day for Grown the people who treat us well and raise us I, you know i don't know maybe it's a generational thing i mean i know when i got too familiar and i started calling my aunt joanne joanne and she told me young lady put a handle on it which let me know that she was <laughs> in, a, in a really nice way you can't call me by my first name and there is a title there's a level of reverence when you speak into an elder or someone you know i just think it's all about respect i don't know it well and they're saying it's not they're saying it's about respect by saying don't say mom or dad for the kids who don't don't have a mom and dad or who have two dads or two moms or one mom or yeah. you know an, an uncle um so instead what they're saying is use the term grown-ups folks family or guardians growing up it was always guardians with us and that just kind of covered everything but to say within the school we don't use the word mom or dad hmm. so you would say what so let's say you're a teacher so. and you have a child who you know is maybe a foster child and has guardians but not a traditional mom and dad do you say to them how are your grown-ups doing this mm -hmm. week yep how are your folks if you said or, how are your parents and and their foster parents aren't they still parents of a certain their foster parents are still parenting a child Right? Uh, yeah, well, and that's where we're all making assumptions about what that family is going to, to call themselves or not want to call themselves. It's a strange, it's a strange discussion. It's strange I, for I a school wanna, to step in and put a guide together. There's a reason for it, though, I will say, Ron. You know, it might sound peculiar to us. I know all three of us were a little bit like, this feels off, but we're also not everybody. And so there some, must be somebody in those shoes who has who's felt um, <laughs> yes. misrepresented or has felt hurt by that term being used around them over and over again when they didn't have that. Yeah, I don't deny that, right? I don't want to be respectful of everybody's feelings, but in a blanket sense, yes. for this to be a cultural social movement that maybe it makes you just wonder how far these things go yeah. before we like, okay, are we, are we overthinking some things? I hear it.